Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here. Today we're going to review another beautiful fifth wheel. It's a 2016 Heritage Glen Light mid-bunk model. So hang tight, we're going to pop a drone up. I'll see you in just a second. guys what do y'all think about that drone shot there it looked good didn't it it's a good looking uh fifth wheel it's a lighter weight one than what i've normally been shooting this is a 2016 heritage Glen light which is built by forest river this is the 368 rl bhk i say that five times real quick uh this one actually measures tip to tip length is 42 feet long and this particular one weighs 10,925 pounds with four slides. So by the time you consider the size of it, that is a, um, that's pretty lightweight. Considering I just did one the same length yesterday that was almost 15,000 pounds, which already sold by the way. But it does have the HD Max, which is a tinted fiberglass full body paint, uh, what you call full body paint in the fifth wheel. It's got a power awning. And going around it, guys, I mean, it's a good looking camper. And, um, look here in the back, you've got your grill. It's got a little outside kitchen over here on the side, which I'm gonna have to get the key to unlock. I'm sorry about that does have power stabilizer jacks that grill will actually swing around where you can cook in your outdoor kitchen you know the graphics look pretty good on it um i don't see any fading got a led light if you can see it in the awning aluminum structure hyper light and it is the extended season package now guys these lighter weight fifth wheels aren't rated r45 or r50 or anything like that I believe this one's r14 so you know if you're living in the south in the winter time yeah you could use it in the winter but it's more like a three season i guess than a four season got double ducted roof airs got a big propane furnace Six gallon DSI water heater, three year slides are on this side. I'm not gonna try to squeeze through there, but I mean, it looks great. Full pass through storage, 50 amp electrical service. It's got the pointed front end, so you can tow this with a six and a half foot bed or what they call a short bed truck. Decals on the front look good. Got a mount out here for a TV if you want to put one on the outside. Let's look inside. Alloy wheels too, of course. Got a good looking interior. So step inside. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the door because it is Saturday and there's a lot of people looking. And let's take a quick shot of the interior. It's a rear lounge. So you get the benefits of a rear lounge plus a bunkhouse. One of the most versatile floor plans I think you can have. Kitchen's got the island in it, which hey, every RV needs it island kitchen it's got the bottom floor that looks like wood planks stainless steel appliances wow 
Look here in the back first. Uh, very nice leather sleeper sofa. They actually use Lazy Boy furniture in here. You've got the fireplace, which you can set for the effect, or you can set for an auxiliary electric heater. Good size TV, you got a DVD CD player up top. I'm on antenna TV right now. Nice little touches, such as the uh, end tables at the, each end of the sofa here in the back. You have uh, plug-ins right here. Big windows, day-night shades. And of course, something I think every big fifth wheel has to have, theater seating. I love theater seating, guys. Very, very nice. Look here, guys, prime viewing. You know, I'm not a big TV guy personally, but prime viewing position for the television. And these do recline back with a footrest and uh, very comfortable seats. You've got cup holders. There's your remotes for your fireplace and your TV. Storage right in here for your remotes. You know, this is Lazy Boy furniture, so it's the higher grade furniture. It doesn't have the flaking issue like so many uh, RV uh, manufacturers furniture did back in when this thing was built. Look at this beautiful kitchen area. And keep in mind, guys, this is all considered a lightweight fifth wheel. You can see you got the ceiling fan up top. It's got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Got the nice residential style lighting in the kitchen. Of course, the Heritage Glen has the optional. I'll show you this here. This is another thing I really like in a fifth wheel. That is a residential refrigerator. It cools off twice as fast, holds twice as much food, lasts twice as long, and half the price to replace when it goes bad of a traditional RV refrigerator. Of course, I've got my Mountain Dew in here chilling. <laughs> it's already nice and cold. Uh, I like these a lot, guys, and it does have a built-in inverter. So I know a lot of people say, well, I need gas so I can have, I need a gas electric fridge so I can run it on propane when I'm hauling it to keep my food cold. Well, guess what, guys? This has an inverter, so when you're running this thing and you're towing it, behind your truck, your truck alternator is charging the battery in your fifth wheel that's running this inverter, keeping your refrigerator cold. Now, of course, the downside of that is you run that inverter without your truck hooked to it or hooked into shore power, you're gonna run it down, really, your battery down really quick. So uh, it's just strictly made to be used while the truck is hauling your fifth wheel. And uh, of course now it's not big enough to run an air conditioner or nothing like that. It's made specifically for the refrigerator. And you might run a TV or something like that off of it, but that'd be about the limit of it. Solid surface countertops which I didn't know were actually made by LG, the Electronics Corporation. I guess they, they stretch out everywhere, but those are solid surface countertops. Solid wood cabinets. Uh, you've got a, this is probably just a, a microwave, I would say it is. You've got a microwave. You've got a three burner stove top. If I can get this thing to point down. Does it look like it's been cooked in? And of course, an oven. Of course, that's a gas oven. Decorative backsplash. Stainless steel hood fan and light. Not bad. Got the table and chairs, so no matter how big you are, you can find a comfortable spot to sit and eat. Carpet's original, looks good. Got the overhead lighting. Got the little metal fronts to the uh, cabinets that look great. Give it a nice residential feel. Got a nice tall ceiling in here. And it's a mid bunk model. So you have a separate room in here. And guys, this room can be used for many different reasons, for many different things. You know, it's actually designed to be used as a bunk room. You've got a sofa, which is dark right here, I'm sorry. 
um, down here. You've got a sleeper sofa that can sleep two people, and you've got a bunk up top that folds down. I latch it in, but I, I can't do that one-handed. Um, you've got a closet right here for storage. And I apologize, folks. Uh, didn't, I got to reach up there, turn the light on. I got to have a step ladder to do that. Um, place here for a TV. And this room can be used for several different purposes. Even if you're just a couple and you're wanting a fifth wheel to stay in, like some weekend property or even to live in, this would make a great storage room. You can make this into a hobby room, an office, uh, man caves, she shed is what they call them now. Hey, whatever you want to make it, guys. It's your it's your space to do what you want. You know you don't. So even if you don't have people that you extra people staying with you need bunks for, great storage room. For whatever reason you have for extra storage. I like this long hallway leads up to the front bedroom and the bathroom. And this unit does have the auxiliary air in the bedroom. But we'll look here at the bathroom first. Uh, about a 48 inch wide, 54 inch wide shower. This is, oh boy, it's cool in here. <laughs> that door was shut and that air vent was on. So it's uh, nice and chilly in here. And uh, got a nice shower skylight looks great you can see no water damage nothing like that step back you've got a long gated rv toilet you've got nice vanity area medicine cabinet and everything's enclosed so if you're in the bathroom taking a shower getting ready for the day you're not blocking access to any part of the rv now Got a really nice front bedroom. In fact, cut that air off. <laughs> it's a little chilly up here. Um, Queen Island bed, got the nice headboard. Big closet in the very front. Of course, you've got your air unit up here, which is a non-central, non-ducted unit. Or, so it's just blowing out in here but you still have duct work in here for your 15,000 BTU main ducted unit so only if you're in a, I mean you wouldn't really need that bedroom there unless you're an Eskimo or it's 100 something degrees outside got a TV over there in the corner chest of drawers and uh, let's look at this closet up here Hey, nice closet. Looks like you've got um, probably books and manuals, if I had to guess. Looks like it's got an extra bed spread in here. That may be the factory one. Not bad. And the thing is, guys, and I know almost 11,000 pounds and lightweight doesn't sound like two things that you really want to uh, say in the same sentence, but when you look at other 42-foot fifth wheels with four slides on the market, this is actually one of the lightest weight ones out there at under 11,000 pounds. And it's still nice. I mean, you've got the nice furniture. You've still got the fireplace. You've got the separate oven. You've got the power awning. And a very comfortable living space. Still have extended season use. So, um, you know, like I said, if you're living down here in the South, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, or, you know, anywhere down here in the South, then you can probably use this four seasons. Or at least in the warmer parts of those states. Um, I know in this area, this would have no problem. You would have no problem using this as a four seasons camper. However, like I said, guys, if you're going to be spending north up, if you're going to be up north in the wintertime 
it's probably going to get pretty cold. I'm just being honest with you. I don't want you to buy something and in a couple of months when we get cold weather, find out that you're freezing to death while you're trying to live in it or use it. So it's four seasons depending on what part of the country you're going to use it at. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> um, you know, guys, it's comfortable, easy to use, it's clean. You know, all the carpet's original, doesn't need to be changed. Um, you don't have any flaking on the furniture. It's got some nice furniture in it. Table and chairs, which I like. I'm not a big, and don't get me wrong, a table booth is great for additional storage, but this, this unit is not lacking in storage. More than enough storage in here, so you don't need a booth. I like a table and chairs because you're not fixed. You can move your chairs around, be comfortable, move your table around be comfortable I mean you can you can make that adjust it to suit your needs or even take it out you don't have any wiring you don't have tanks and all that so if you want to take those table and chairs out completely and maybe put you a table at the front of the sofa or TV trays you can use that for a desk you can use it for whatever you want to use it for that that area where those table and chairs are at so definitely guys, you know, you can kind of make it your own, but I do recommend if you do something like that or modify the bunk room to keep all the stuff that you took out so you can put it back in when you decide to sell it or trade it, it'll be worth more guys if you can bring it back to factory condition. A lot of times people customize RVs, they think it makes them worth more, but you're customizing it for yourself, not for the general public. and. You may like it, but majority of other people may hate it, and they're not going to pay as much for it because they're going to have to change everything you did to it to get it to their liking. So a lot of times customizing something has its drawbacks too. So like I said, as long as you keep every all the factory stuff out of it and put it back in when you sell it or trade it, uh, you'll be doing yourself and everybody else a favor. And uh, wow. Guys, this unit's 34.9 while it lasts. Includes our world famous four page inspection process, which is done after purchase. And um, if you want a copy of that, very extensive checkout process, go to the video description below if you're watching this on YouTube. There'll be a link that you can click on and it will show you that. Or you can see it on our website, parkwayrbcenter.com. Anybody interested in this fifth wheel or any of the other numerous ones we have for sale? Go to my website. That's the best place to view my inventory outside of actually being here in person. If you want to come out in person, guys, we're the only dealership around, which is really, really important right now with COVID-19. Uh, we're the only dealership around that lets you simply go out and look without being escorted by a salesperson, without going through a sales office and getting all your information taken before they let you on the lot to look at RVs. You park where you want, look around all you want, guys. You know, if you run across one that's locked, it's because it's sold or I'm shooting a video in it like this one is right now. I've already had two people uh, try to open the door here and uh, I've got the door locked, so. But wow. Um, how come every time I'm doing a video, I don't know if it's just a time of day, it's always got Bonanza on the darn uh, TV. <laughs> Crazy. But, um, <laughs> Nice, it's a nice fifth wheel. We have nationwide delivery available. There's a huge demand for used fifth wheels. I mean, here's the thing, guys. You bought this thing brand new four years ago, five years ago. You still owe 40, 45 grand on it. Or this one's 34 dollars It comes with a 90-day nationwide easy care warranty included for that 34 dollars price. Now, guys, that 34 dollars is a haggle-free, firm, firm price. I don't care how you're paying for it cash trade if you're financing through your bank or one of our lenders it's all the same to us so 34.9 is the price not taking a penny less if you want all the benefits that we give you that other dealers don't without charging a lot more money and fees uh, that we don't charge the four to, uh, page inspection process guys you take that inspection you print that out take it to any dealer around tell them you want to buy a used fifth wheel but you want them to check all that for the asking price, they're gonna laugh you off a lot. 
that's what we do guys that's what we do every day now keep in mind I can't wave a magic wand and have that checklist done that's not an hour I mean my, my tech spent a day and a half on one if they don't find anything wrong with it if they find something wrong with it it's longer because they have to order parts parts are in short supply right now thanks to COVID so keep in mind guys I can't wave a magic wand or, or send somebody out here in an hour and check one out it's a day and a half checkout process with if everything goes right so that being said guys keep in mind it may take us a, a week or two to get it ready if you want to know the current lead time for a fifth wheel checkout because I don't know when you're watching the video uh, ask your salesperson and they will tell you estimated completion date now guys parts right now I'm sure as many of you know it's and it's not just RVs it's it's building supplies for houses appliances for houses much more you, if you tried to price lumber lately for a big project you can't you have to go from place to place and just get a little bit at a time and I've been waiting on a dishwasher for my house for two darn months <laughs> you can't get them <laughs> you go online and places that say they have them in stock when you order them you get an email an hour later and say they're going to refund the money because they don't have it in stock and they just didn't update their online listing um, wow it's crazy guys and it's the same way with RV parts air conditioners right now are worth their weight in gold RV air conditioners and like I said you can go online and they'll say they're available on Amazon or eBay or individual dealerships websites but when you click on it to order it and you get ready to pay for it it either say zero in stock or back ordered or you'll get an email back an hour later with your refund stating that the unit's not in stock and they have no idea when they'll be ready. I've got new RVs sitting in the yards at the manufacturers, guys. Incomplete. Well, I've got one that's been waiting two months for a furnace to be able to finish it where we can pick it up and sell it. A furnace. Something six months ago I could have got the next day from a number of suppliers across the country. <laughs> Crazy world we live in, guys. But but you know I, I i've already got it plugged in both the airs are cold refrigerators cold tv fireplace works lights work slide outs work i've already done a lot of the major stuff they work so of course we're going to take it a whole lot further than that when we put it through our inspection process and that's included for that 34 dime price that is a haggle free firm price guys i mean i did a fifth wheel last night one of my favorite ones i've ever done that big horn it sold this morning first thing this one right here guys perfect for families perfect for couples lightweight that you know uh, 10,900 pounds is something that you could probably tow with the majority of four-wheel diesel trucks like a 250 or 2500 Dodge or Ram or whatever they call themselves now um, <laughs> or Chevrolet but always check your vehicles towing capacity before RV shopping I've made it really easy I've got a link again in the video description below to my free interactive tow guide and you can click on that link put in your vehicles particulars and it'll tell you what you can tow and it'll even show you every single towable RV I have in stock that you can tow with it so very very handy resource and whether you buy one from me or not check it out guys it's free and it will tell you what your vehicle can tow. I don't care who tells you this, who tells you that. Never go over your vehicle towing capacity. Never. And keep in mind, guys, it's more than a dry weight. 10,900 pounds plus water. If you carry water with you, some people do, some don't. Plus luggage, food, personal possessions. You know, it could add up to several hundred pounds on top of the dry weight that you have to consider when you're trying to figure out if you can tow a fifth wheel or not. Um, I personally recommend not towing a fifth wheel with anything under a six and a half foot bed and eight foot bed preferably. So if you're looking to a truck shop to buy a fifth wheel, remember the number one rule of towing because I towed these things for many, many years as tra transporting them when I was younger. Better to have too much truck than not enough. That way, if you do decide to upgrade your fifth wheel later on, you don't have to worry about buying a, a, a newer truck or a bigger truck to be able to handle the extra weight. So, but 
majority of modern three-quarter ton truck diesel trucks should be able to handle this and if you got any questions about that guys give us a call we'll try to assist you we've got a lot of experience towing rvs i mean we've been doing this in this business 52 years so and we tow every single rv ourselves in this is not i mean we don't use a third party company we we have our own fleet of trucks and drivers that bring these things in from various places all over the u.s so uh, and we're more than happy to answer your questions about towing 706-965-7929 is our phone number again our tow guide is in the video description below as well as on our website parkwayrbcenter.com thank you for watching my video guys this is a nice fifth wheel if you're interested you probably want to call consider leaving a deposit on it it's not going to last long at this price for a 16 heritage blend light it's a floor plan that's really popular right now we have delivery service available if you want to quote give us a call and again guys financing is available with approved credit and down payment if you've got questions about that or you want to apply for that give us a call we'll guide you through the next steps thank you for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already 349 just a brief recap is going to include a 90-day nationwide easy care warranty our world famous four page inspection process which is done after purchase as well as cleanup and we do a final walkthrough to make sure everything's to our satisfaction that we'll call you to set an appointment up for you to pick up your new to you Heritage Glen. Once you arrive here at the appointed time, Preston, my, my walkthrough technician, or one of my RV techs will go through this RV with you, give you a complete orientation that you can film with your camera or phone if you wish. That's included for that 34 dollars price. You get 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12-month period. Our gift to you for buying an RV from us. You also get your RV starter kit with all your camping essentials, sewer hose, water hose, pressure reducer, chemicals, adapters, and more. Other dealers, you've got to buy that stuff after you buy a used RV. You also get a um, your, your drive-out tag, all your paperwork, everything included, $34.9. Now, if you are a Georgia resident, we do have to charge you a $40 to $50 tag and title fee, um, depending on the county you live in. But everybody else from out of state, you just pay the 349 in any applicable sales tax. That's it. You got questions about any of that, guys? Give us a call. We have no fees, no dock fees, prep fees, tagging, or no dock fees, prep fees, uh, processing fees, inspection fees, freight fees, no um, happy camper fees, what one dealer calls them. Other dealers charge you thousands of dollars in fees, and all those fees are a 100% dealer profit. Don't, uh, don't fall victim to that fee scam, guys. That's just a way for a dealer to advertise a lower price and make more profit by adding on the lost profit in the price and pass that along in the, and disguising them as fraudulent fees. And like I said, financing is available with approved credit and much more. Thank you again for watching. Any questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the, uh, in the comment section of the video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm playing around with different things with it. You never know from one day to the next what I'm going to shoot, how I'm going to shoot it. If you've got suggestions, if you've got comments or good or bad, let me know. Leave them in the comment section. You can email us, sales at parkwayrbcenter.com. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.